What up, what up, it's your boy AD and that's all day in the spot. Gonna talk about some real things like I always do. Shouts out to the MGTOW family for coming, supporting me, and being there for me. I get a lot of love from y'all. Probably the most love that I receive on really most of my videos and I really appreciate it. Drinking my coffee, been handling business. After this video, I gotta do some stuff. Gotta finish. I gotta do some vacuuming and stuff like that, man. I'm trying to get the, you know, the spot or a little bit more organized and together. But anyways, to the point though, man. So this video is called "Women Never Date Down." Well, most women never date down. So what's the point of even dating them? <laughs> That's a good title to me. And to be honest with you, this has got to be one of the most infuriating things to me about women. Like, a lot of things women do make me mad. I'm going to be honest. It's a lot of crap that they do and say or that they don't do that really makes me mad. But this has probably got to be number one on the list of why they anger me. And the reason why is because as a man, it will pretty much just throw your hopes and dreams just down the drain. I mean, I'm not saying 100%. Because MGTOW does exist, and I do believe in change, especially when people like MGTOW come together and go, you know, move in the right direction of things. But but right now, in this current state, in this moment, man, you might as well, all your dreams about getting a hot girl that you really want, that, that's going to be good for you, you might as well throw that out the window. Because in this day and age, most women do not date down. Now, what is dating down? Dating down means they never date or get in relationships or talk to good dudes now this is mainly about women who try to get in relationships even though shoot even when they mess around they don't really do that too much they really don't a lot of girls even when they just f buddies you know or just trying to just get some quick sex they even go for guys that got more than them because that's what it's about you will rarely ever in your life meet a woman who will talk to a man that has more I mean that she has more than them it's like damn near impossible yo now you know this is some sad ass crap right cause we live in 2017 where women can get jobs and get money men can do it too so why in the world women don't want to do shit for no dude why in the world do women still always want to get a man that's better than him and again this is most women because a lot of women start off messing with the bad boys because they're brainwashed to think, oh, go for the bad boy. That's a strong man. Obviously, women are brainwashed to not understand that those so-called bad boys are what they are. They're bad boys, meaning get the fuck away from them. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you being around fucking bad boys for? You, come on now. You're a mother. You're a woman. Your goal in life is to be um, a mother and raise an amazing family. How in the world are you gonna raise an amazing family and you like bad boys? Just think about how stupid that is. Cause most of them bad boys. So okay, that's how most women start off. I realize that a lot of them, some of them never get to this state, but a lot of them start off like this. Well, they don't mess with the bad boy, and then once the bad boy play their ass for shit, cause they always feel like they could change some damn body instead of just realizing the person ain't shit and move on. You know, ain't it a lot of women out here who will complain about the dude they with but still be with him? It's like the dumbest shit ever. Just like when you watch on Murray. Oh, he beat me. He hit me with the broom. And then the crowd sit there. Oh, she's such a victim. But nobody, but in reality, you should be like, well, damn, she the dumb hoe for staying with him. That's your stupid ass fuck. Anyways. Ah, man. So, like I was saying. And then after those dudes play them out, again, a lot of, most women eventually will end up to the I need a guy that has more than me stage. And I've seen this my whole life. I've seen this with older people. I've experienced this many a many, many a times in my life. I've seen a lot of other people I know gone through this, older, younger. So I so this what I'm saying to you is just not nothing what I just ooh, I just pulled it out the trash bag. Cause not only did I see this in my real life, the media promotes it too. The media encourages women to get guys that are above them. You know, it's even so bad nowadays that, as you can see, they'll uh, they'll start uh, gaining fame off people just based off their man or who they're with. You know, which is again encouraging dating up. That's why they can have shows like Basketball Wives and stuff like that. Because come on, think about it; those girls wasn't really nothing 
whether they weren't playing no sports, they weren't talented like that, but they can get with guys that are and then get known. See what I'm saying? Now, what's the odds of a woman doing that for a guy? That's just the whole point. And you know, most women in their minds are not thinking about that. Most women are not thinking about a guy who they can get, who they can take care of, okay? So, get that. That's why it makes you me so mad, because it's not fair. And it's, it's really so bad to the point where now it's not even equal no more. Like, these women are so brainwashed and greedy to date up that they won't even take a guy that's equal to them. And, and what do I mean by equal? What do I mean by dating up? This could mean a lot of different stuff. A lot. Like, like for instance, it could be a lot of different stuff. It could be your age. It could be how tall you are. It could be about how much money you got. It could be about how many resources you got. It's like all that added up into a whole. It's about how good you look. And that's how you know when mugs are dating up. Because if you look at most relationships between males and females, you can't say this ain't no fact. You can't say that most of the time when it is it's going on, it's always the dude that's better. It's always the dude that's either taller, older, got more money, better looking, or have more resources. Now tell me if I'm lying. So as you can see, the dating game is rigged. Just like most other stuff in this world, it's rigged. No wonder, no wonder things don't work out that well in a relationship. No wonder I don't see them like that as much either. No wonder because the uh, people are not coming on the same page. You know, you got the men coming in, even though this is changing because more of us are waking up. Because just think about how we feel as men to basically get with women because we think they love us and like us but in reality they only with us because we got more and we just better or, or we just got it better at the time you know think about how that make you feel as a man just knowing like damn i'm just basically just being used basically because i because that's why if you that's why so many women out here where if you ever lose your shit they gone that's why because they never they they look at a man not for their character, which is the smart thing. That's what women really should do. Look at a man for his character. But women don't do that crap. They fucking look at you for what you got. They're very, very shallow. And that's why most relationships do not work out. Because most of these women be coming into the relationship already wanting more, expecting more. You know? That's why when a lot of them get into a relationship with that same guy that got more, they'll start disrespecting that man, doing them wrong, thinking they can do better, because they already getting something for nothing. Just think about it. That woman really didn't have to work at that as that man to even be in that relationship. Think about that. Now, think of a lot of women do not understand that. A lot of women take that for granted. And that's why a lot of them end up fucked up in the future. Because none of them stop and think about a man and what he goes through. None of them stop and think and really think about that. Like, damn, as a man, you got to be this, 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 and that to get a woman that's not even on your level. So that's why I was like, all them hopes and dreams about getting that fine ass girl that really wants you and trying to help you and that's on your level, you might as well throw that shit out the window. Because the odds of that happening is very low, especially if you have your, especially if you don't got a lot of money. It's like, if, unless you got a lot of money and you balling out like Marvin, it's like, that probably won't happen. Because there is no girl out here that's trying to take care of you. There really is, I mean, it's barely any. There's barely any girls out here who will respect you for not having nothing or going through stuff. I'm telling you, you want to know why? You want to know why it's a lot of girls you'll get and you'll get the number and you might talk to them for a little minute and they don't call your ass back because most of the time when these girls be talking to you, they, they are analyzing you. They want to know what you're driving. They want to know how much money you got. They want to know do you got a job. They want to know where you stay. They want to know all this. They, they are trying to see if they can come up off of you. That's what I'm telling you. I've been seeing this shit my whole life. I rarely ever seen situations where girls have more than the guy and they were actually claiming to be together. And most of the time when I see situations like that, that girl be fucked up. She be fucked up in some type of manner. Slow or something. She be scheming. But again, it's very rare. 
So, so then, see, because just think about it. Because as you're, cause this is why I say this really makes me mad. Because this is the truth, man. This is the real truth. I mean, women should be, y'all should be ashamed of y'all fucking selves. That's why I say, mo that's why most of them lie when they can't get a man. Because just think about how easy it is for them. You don't got to approach them. You don't have to have as much of them or be as smart as them. But you can still get them. So think about that. Yeah, you look like a damn fool if you ain't got no man. Because look how easy you got it to get one. So if you a woman out here and you ain't got no man, it's definitely something wrong with you. And it's funny how they always say it's the guy. See what I'm saying? They what, what women don't understand is they were brainwashed to constantly date up so they fail. Because a relationship will never make it if you're leeching and just using. If you're not working together or at least trying to get towards an equal level of working together, the relationship will never fail. Because you got one person up here, one person down here, and you got this person dragging you down. So how y'all, because this is what a relationship should, should do, right? It should do this. But instead, it's like this. And it's like dragging you down. That's why they never work. And remember, these are the same women who claim to want to be mothers. Coming in, dating up, trying to just get stuff. You see, that's why they don't support their kids like that nowadays. You see, because they, they won't even support their fucking men. They looking for a meal ticket off their men. That's why a lot of these women, this is real talk. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all motherfucker selves. Because to, for this obvious fact to be truth and to know y'all can work, and y'all better not come at me and use that excuse of men make more money. That's some bullshit. Because most of y'all women on average got more money than the men because y'all got life 10 times easier and y'all get jobs 10 times easier. And y'all ass can work and save money just like the rest. So stop using what another motherfucker get as your excuse. Because they will use that excuse quick. Well, men make more than us. Bullshit. Bullshit. So, so that gives you the right to just take shit? That gives you the right to think that everything you do is free? That's why you women don't never... Fucking most of you women don't never evolve in the mind and, and grow and learn. Because y'all hand out, hand out, hand out, hand out. Dating up, dating up, dating up. Now, man, nobody should talk to most of you women. Because you won't approach us, which is disrespectful as fuck. You will never talk to a dude that's younger than you or shorter than you, which is disrespectful as fuck. I mean, let's be with this some disrespectful shit. And then y'all wonder why motherfuckers don't want to fuck with y'all like that. And, you know, and then and then y'all won't talk to nobody who ain't on, on the same level as you. Like, um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Damn, it's two sayings I want to give real quick because I know this video is getting long. Time like it's, I'll get his saying first. Time like it's always used to say. Until I wish I could meet a woman that make more money than me and take care of me. I would have been quit my job, but that's never going to happen. Because cause time like it's always brags about having a lot of money, but being able to get as much ass as he wants. And if you know how time like it looks, you see he not the most attractive guy, but he can still get women. Because it just proves that women don't fucking care about character. Is proof they only care about your money, and that's a damn shame that they even behave in that manner. Because because he be saying that all the time, because he know that's never going to happen. But you know, there's women out here who can find men that got more money than them that will take them away from their gigs. Fuck out of here. We've seen that all day. And you know, another saying is from Chris Rock. Men can never go back sexually, which I find in most scenarios very true. And women can never go back financially, which in most scenarios I find very true. And what Chris Rock is trying to say is, is that if a woman has something in the past financially, if she breaks up with a dude, nine times out of ten, she won't go back. For example, if, if a woman messes with a guy who has a nice car, most of the time she won't settle for that dude unless she's with a guy with a nice car or a crib i've seen this man i've seen broke ass fucked up ass women out here settle for shitty ass dudes just because they had something to give them and these same women are going to grow up to be shit in the future because they ain't doing nothing to improve themselves that's why on the media they always promote you women to do this because in the long run your family gonna be fucked up and you gonna be fucked up because you want nothing but a fucking leech and you want lo looking for nothing but a damn handout and you weren't trying to improve yourself. You know, what man want to constantly date women below them? Fuck out of here. What's so fun about that? What, what makes us happy about that? Getting a woman that ain't as good as you. That shit is fucking terrible.
And that's why more and more men are like, yo, fuck this dating game shit. It's fucking rigged. Until y'all women learn how to respect and appreciate us and work with us, we ain't, and, and stop trying to get the better of us so y'all could come up. Like, come on. Because I'm telling you, that's all what they do, man. That's all what they do, man. And it's sad, and I, I find that very true with Chris Rock said, and that's why I'm saying, so when you really look at the dating game and the reality, you see it's really fucked up, man. It's really fucked up. And these women still walk around thinking they the shit, like they the best, and they don't need a man, blah, 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 but you know damn well they'll never date down, ever. They really don't. So, like I said, as a man, how you think we feel as a man just to know, like, damn, we'll never have a girl on our level. And if we want to get a girl most of the time or nine times out of ten, she's going to be below us, which is fucked up because it's like, okay, so this girl get to have somebody better than her, which will make them happy. Just like if you get a girl that's really hot, it will make you happy. But you see, in order for that to happen, you got to have this, 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 and this. You see what I'm saying? If you ain't got that, 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 and that is not going to come. And that's the reality of a man, which a lot of women don't understand. And then no wonder they can't find no fucking dude, because they can't even take time out to learn about the opposite sex. They so worried about their, their selves and their so-called, so-called oppression, they can't even see their own privilege. The world we live in. I know I went off a little bit, but I'm done, man. That shit just, just it, it is fucking disgusting to me that that's how it is nowadays, man. People coming up off men and men selling for less. Come on, man. That's why more and more men are waking up. I'm telling you, shit is getting real out here, man. Because mugs ain't finna go for that shit. And the reason why I feel like more men are waking up is because times are getting tougher. Because, you know, when you, when times get harder, your back get against the wall, you start thinking more. You start seeing shit more. You know, when you got all this money and you comfortable, you don't see shit.